Analytical Chemistry 1, Lesson 30. Since weak acids and bases only partially dissociate upon solvation, one useful parameter is knowing the fraction of the species that exists in its conjugate form. What fraction of the acid has dissociated? What fraction of the base has hydrolyzed into its conjugate acid form? This is, of course, the generic acid dissociation reaction. We define the fraction dis dissociated as being the amount, the ratio of the amount of the conjugate base, A minus form, compared to the formal concentration of the acid. The formal concentration is, of course, the sum of the actual acid concentration and the concentration of the conjugate base. The variable alpha is commonly used for this fraction. As a fraction, it's always a number between 0 and 1. The corresponding definition for the base hydrolysis reaction is the ratio of the conjugate acid form to the formal base concentration. For our course, we are commonly interested in the pH of a solution, and this particular ratio is not what we're seeking. However, in much of chemistry, the species that is subsequently reacting in some chemical process does depend upon which form of the conjugate acid base pair is present, and so it is important to know this value. Look at some examples. What is the fraction dissociation for a 1 millimolar 2 naphthoic acid solution? Well, we look up the pKa for the acid, and we find it is 4.16, which corresponds to a Ka of 6.9 times 10 to the minus 5. Use the quadratic expression to solve for the hydronium ion concentration. We find it is 2.3 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. In deciding to use the quadratic expression, we are ignoring the contribution of hydroxide ions to the charge balance equation, which implies that we are assuming that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to the 2 naphthenate ion concentration. The percent dissociation is readily found to be this divided by the formal concentration of 1 millimolar. The fractional dissociation of the species is 0.23, or 23% dissociated. Now, was the assumption of equating the conjugate base concentration to that of the hydronium ion concentration an acceptable one? The charge balance equation equates the hydronium ion to the sum of naphthenate and hydroxide. But Kw lets us replace the hydroxide, and we can calculate the naphthenate with it included. And we end up trying to add something that's to the power of minus 10, to something that's to the power of minus 4, and so it really has no impact. The approximation is a good one. Now here's a question for you. Does the fraction dissociation increase or decrease as the formal acid concentration increases? Let's consider a 10 millimolar solution of 2 naphthoic acid. Everything is the same except for the formal concentration. It's 10 times what it was before. Put in the values to the quadratic formula and find that the hydronium ion concentration is 8 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. We equate this, this to the conjugate base concentration, that of the 2 naphthenate ion. And this gives us a fraction dissociation of 0 0.08 or 8%. The more concentrated solution has a lower percent dissociation. There's more naphthenate in the second solution, that's true, 8 to the times 10 to the minus 4 versus 2.3 times 10 to the minus 4. But the fraction of the corresponding formal concentration is a smaller value. And now what about the magnitude of Ka? Which has more dissociation, a large or a smaller value for Ka? Let's consider another 10 millimolar solution, but this time the molecule is known as perubic acid. Its IUPAC name is 2-oxopropanoic acid. Its pKa is 2.48, so it is a stronger acid than 2-naphthenoic acid. Plug in the numbers into the quadratic solution to obtain the hydronium ion concentration of 4.3 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. We equate this to the conjugate base concentration and obtain the fraction dissociation of 0.43 or 43%. So compared to the 8% for the same formal concentration for 2 naphthenolic acid, we find that the stronger acid has more dissociation. And that probably makes sense. The stronger acid is more acid-like and dissociates to produce more hydronium ion. Now, a similar thing, of course, happens with weak bases also. What is the percent association in a 1 millimolar solution of pyrrolidone? Pyrrolidine, sorry. When we look up the table for the appropriate values, we find a pKa of 11.305. This is for the conjugate acid pyrrolidinium ion. We convert to the pKb as 
14 minus 11.305 or 2.695 and that becomes a KB of 2.02 times 10 to the minus 3. Plug the numbers into the quadratic solution, but remember that we are solving for hydroxide ion concentration this time. We find the hydroxide concentration to be 7.34 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. This time the hydroxide is the dominant species and the hydronium ion has a very small concentration. We can therefore equate the pyrrolidinium ion concentration with the hydroxide concentration and can substitute this along with the formal base concentration into the expression for fraction associated. The fraction associated is 0.73 or 73%. This is indeed a very strong weak base, but it is not completely associated so it's not a strong base.